I've got a riddle for you. How do you know that you're at a Nazi rally? If somebody starts waving a Nazi flag and nobody kicks them out, you know that you're at a Nazi rally. And soon you'll understand what it means in relation to the Russian flag and the Russian people. Hey guys, welcome to About Ukraine and I'm in Krakow, Poland and I'm uh, waiting to go home uh, to Warsaw and it's pretty late now and I'm waiting to take my train. Recently I thought about this question, um, how do we deal with Russians? And I think I have an idea, I think I have an answer to that question. Um, when these savages like behave like animals, uh, shoot everything that moves, uh, they uh, kill innocent civilians in places like uh, schools, maternity wards, hospitals, they bomb community centers, when all of that happens, I have no words for that, first of all. I mean, it's, it's atrocious, it's horrific. Uh, and what bothers me, and what will continue bothering me for some time, is the mantra that uh, we are not anti-Russia, uh, we are anti-Putin. And this mantra, for, in my personal opinion, has lost all its meaning. In my opinion, that's unrealistic as long as Russians continue to re-elect, obey, fight for, support, or like even stay in a country and pay taxes to support the Putin regime. So, sitting quietly on the sidelines is still supporting the regime, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the case, but that's the case. Uh, Putin isn't out there by himself, physically loading up the shells to shoot at uh, the Ukrainian civilians. So he isn't doing that by himself. He isn't personally flying jet airplanes or helicopters and bombing things or throw grad rockets at schools and hospitals. It takes a millions of people to enable that on the front and at home as well. And besides, you can't really remove a leader unless you go through the military and the state apparatus to remove that as well. The people that are propping up the power first should be removed and then the regime will fall by itself. I mean, that's how it's always been. One can make a partial exception for totalitarian regimes like North Korea. I mean, that's true. But I mean, that, that is probably the only exception to the rule because modern populations have no excuse for not being cultured and at least a little bit civilized. And that is what we're lacking in Russia. We're lacking any kind of civility, any kind of discourse, any kind of logical, reasonable explanation for what they're doing. We just see savagery, we just see atrocious behavior, we just see extreme difficulty in communicating with them. Essentially, we see uneducated masses, and these uneducated masses have to be cultured somehow. And this process will probably take a long time. So now we have this giant problem on our hands. But how do we resolve this problem? How do we resolve this problem? I think I have an answer. The answer is the flag. You see, the Russian tricolor flag should be equated uh, to a Nazi symbol or a Nazi flag. Uh, those that want to support a civilized Russia should support the white-blue white flag. We've already seen this work with Belarus, who have adopted a white-red-white white flag. Unfortunately, Russia has criminalized the white-blue-white white flag, and you can go to jail for displaying it, for wearing it, um, that is a big problem and that really brings us to the very last point is that Russians should essentially leave Russia if they want to remain civilized. And I personally will only engage with Russians that don or support the white-blue-white white flag and have removed any association between themselves and the tricolor. I think we should all do that in this world. I think we should distinguish Russians who are civilized from Russians who are savages and do not deserve our attention. And that is separate the tricolor Russians from the white, blue, white Russians. Anyway, I think it may be an extreme thing to do, but we should obviously, and I think absolutely, equate the Russian tricolor flag to the Nazi symbol. And that's the only way forward, I think. That's the only way forward if we want to continue engaging with Russians. Until next time, guys.